Hello, boys and girls. Welcome back to Math with Mrs. Jackson. Today we are going to be doing our performance task for Chapter 3. And the first thing we need to do is write our name and date. So if your name is Holden, you're going to write Holden. If your name is Gunner, you're going to write Gunner. If your name is Itziel, you're going to write Itziel. But since my name is Mrs. Jackson, I'm going to write Mrs. Jackson. And my date is 5-4-20. Okay? Now, it says, You and your friend bake banana bread and raisin bread. You have eight loaves of bread. Three of them are raisin. Your friend has ten loaves of bread. Six of them are banana. How many more loaves of banana bread does your friend have than you? So, we need to figure out how many loaves of banana bread we have first. So, we know we have eight. And we know three of them are raisin. So, we have eight minus three. Eight minus three. Five loaves. So we have five loaves of banana bread. Now it says our friend has 10 loaves of bread and six of them are banana bread. How many more loaves of banana bread does your friend have? So our friend has six and we have five. We can do our loaves of bread like this. One, two, three, four, five. And our friends, one, two, three, four, five, six. And then we can do our one to one. So we know banana bread to banana bread, banana bread to banana, one to one, one to one, one to one. To one. How many more does our friend have? One more, one more loaf, okay? You give away three loaves of banana bread and three loaves of raisin bread. Your friend gives away one more loaf than you. How many loaves of bread does your friend give away? Well, we know that we have three and three, and if you think about your doubles, three and three makes six. So we ha gave away six, and it says our friend gave away one more. So six and one, more. So six plus one equals seven. Seven loaves of bread. So our friend gave away seven loaves. All right. <clears throat> now, you and your friend make boxes of muffins. Does each box have the same number of muffins? Let's see. We have three apple and seven lemon, and five apple and four lemon. So we need to know what three plus seven is and what four plus five is. So three plus seven equals, and five plus four equals. Okay, so we have seven and three more. One, two, three. Oh, that equals 10. And then five and four more. One, two, three, four. Five and four makes nine. So are they the same number of muffins? No, they are not. Okay, and then let's go ahead and turn the page. This is a game you can play at home with your mom or your dad or your brother and sister, okay? So go ahead and do that. And then we will continue on with our chapter practice. Okay? Solve, add two problems with star unknown. So I'm going to do one, and then you're going to do one. Okay? Hmm, plus four equals six. So we know we have four, and we know we need to have six dots. So one, two, three, four, 
five, six. So what's our missing number? Correct, two. So two plus four equals six. Now again, you're gonna do number two, so go ahead and pause it and then push play when you're ready. Okay, so again, we are gonna do three and you are gonna do four. For solve, take, take from problems with change unknown. So five minus hmm equals four. So we know our whole is five and one part is four. So we know we need to have five circles. One, two, three, four, five. What's our missing part? Very good, it is one. And you can even draw your numbers in there too, just like I did. Okay, again, push pause and then push play when you're ready. Solve, take from problems with star unknown. Hmm, minus six equals three. So we know our parts are six and three, and we're looking for our whole. So six plus three equals six, seven, eight, nine. So our whole is nine. Six plus three equals nine. So nine minus six equals three. I want you to do that for number six. Push pause and then push play when you're ready to go. Circle the equation that matches the model. So using your model, one, two, so we know this is two, and this is one, two, three, four, four. So we know we need an equation with two, four, and six. Six minus six equals zero. No, that doesn't belong. Four minus two equals two. Well, it has four and two, but it has four as the whole, not the part, so that's wrong. We have six as our whole, minus two equals four. So that's the matching equation. All right. Your friend has three stickers. You have four more than your friend. How many stickers do you have? So your friend has three and you have four, how many all together? So we need three plus four equals hmm. So three and four more, seven. So you have seven stickers, seven stickers, okay? So now we're Moving right along, compare problems similar un oh smaller unknown. So your friend has five stuffed animals. You have two fewer than your friend. How many stuffed animals do you have? So my friend has five, and we have two fewer. So five minus. 2 equals what? 5 minus 2. 1, 2. Oh, 3 more or 3 left. So our missing part is 3. 3 stuffed animals. Your friend has 4 dogs and 2 cats. You have 1 fewer pet than your friend. How many pets do you have? So one fewer, so one goes here, and two plus, four plus two goes here. And so we know four and two more, one, two, at six. So then we need our equation of six minus one equals, hmm. Six minus one equals five. Five. Five pets. All right. True or false equations. Is the equation true or false? Five plus three. Okay, let's see. Five and three more. Eight. Okay. 
10 minus 2, 1, 2, 8. Is 8 equal to 8? Yep, that's true. I want you to figure out 12. See if they are true or if it is false. Okay? Okay, so this is our last page for today for our practice review. Circle all of the equations that are true. 8 equals 2. No, that's not true. It would either need to be 8 equals 8 or 2 equals 2. 6 plus 4 equals 10. So 6 and 4 more. 1, 2, 3, 4. <gasps> yep, that equals 10. So that one's true. Now, 1 plus 1, we know that's 2. 4 minus 2. So 4, take away 2. 1, 2. <gasps> 2. 2 equals 2. Yep, that works. Okay. 3 plus 2. We know that's 5. 3 plus 3, we know that's 6 because we've been working on our doubles. 5 equals 6? Nope. It would need to be 5 equals 5 or 6 equals 6. Okay. Find numbers that make 0. Oh, I'm sorry. Find numbers that make 10. All right. So now we need to figure out what the missing number is. 3 plus hmm equals 10. So let's add it in. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. Ah, 3 plus 7 equals 10. I want you to do number 15 on your own. Complete the fact family. 8 plus 1. So 8 and one more. 9. Then we know we need to swap our add-ins. So if we have 8 plus 1, we can do 1 plus 8. And that's still going to equal 9. And then we know... Our whole is 9, so we'll start with our whole. 9 minus 8 equals 1. So then we do 9 minus our other add-in, which is 1, equals 8. 9 minus 1 equals 8. Okay? There are two slides and six swings on the playground. So two slides and six swings. How many more swings are there? So we can do slide pictures. So there's our slides. And we'll do six swings. One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay. So then we need to cross it out. One to one. One to one. And then we see how many more swings there are. One, two, three, four. There are four more swings. You could also do an easy subtraction equation that looks like this. Six minus two slides equals four more swings. Okay. And that is all for today, boys and girls. I absolutely love you.